Luke chapter 1, 26 onwards. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city in Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the descendants of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. That virgin was Mary. The first characteristic of that woman called Mary is virgin. All right. That woman is a virgin. That's it. That's really, really incredible truth because, because she is going to give birth to a son as a virgin. And why virgin? So that, so that the whole world knows her pregnancy, first child, is totally and utterly and completely of God. The, the power of the Most High overshadow her and not because of a union between a man and a woman. That's a really important fact because it defies logic, defies science. Science has not seen anything like science has no explanation. Science tried to imprint a, a woman um, who can uh, try to uh, to have all kinds of ways to 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 help woman to to give birth, all kinds like they, if they're barren, uh, test your babies even or whatever not. Okay, but this one is different. Um, virgin betrothed a man uh, whose name was Joseph of the, of the descendants of David and the virgin's name was Mary and coming he said to her greetings forward one favored one Mary is favored favored by the Lord the Lord is with you what a wonderful thing to hear the Lord is with you you want to hear this Christmas the Lord is with you hallelujah have you been waiting whole year? Christmas literally the end of the year. And you've been praying and crying to God. Just like uh, uh, Elizabeth and John, uh, Zachariah. The parents of uh, John. And uh, they've been longing and waiting for decades. Probably over 50 years. Or 60 years that Mary Young that day, day, those days. I think that's they are probably in the 80s now. And uh, and, they should, and then at the end of the, at the near Christmas time, just before Christmas, they gave uh, Elizabeth gave birth to a son named John, John the Baptist. They say, the Lord is with you. That should be the theme for us. The angel, Gab, angel Gabriel spoke first words to, uh, to Mary. Greetings, favored one. Gabriel called Mary as favored one of God. Do you want to be the favored one of God? God's favor is with you. And of course, God's favor is with different people, different tasks, different things, different reasons. For Mary, her favor, the God's favor upon her is to bear a child, the very son of God, in the most miraculous ways, not by human effort or endeavor, but this is completely by the Spirit of the Holy Spirit come and overshadow her. So that people will know that it's God incarnate. Jesus was born into the world not because of the fusion between man and woman, but because <clears throat> um, because uh, he, the angel answered in verse 35, the, ans the angel answered and said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow her and will overshadow you. For this reason, the Son of God uh, for this one also, the Holy Child will be called the Son of God. Did you realize that Christmas is the birth of the Holy One? Okay. Both birth of the Holy One. Um, the Holy Child. The Holy Child. The birth of Christ on Christmas is the birth of the Holy Child. It's, it's, it's actually it's called the Son of God Himself. It's a complete mystery. It's amazing. But get this. You know, 
the Holy Spirit will overshadow you. So if you and I have been struggling, asking God to uh, to review something, your future ministry calling like me, or anything of that sort, like what God wants to do, you asking God to help in your children's lives. Like we've been crying, calling, but you know what? The, that parable said, knock and keep, keep asking and keep asking and asking and the door will be opened unto you. It didn't, in Greek said, open is a continuous, I mean, a knock is a continuous tense. You keep knocking. After three years, you say, I've knocked for three years. God, when are you going to hear me? No, keep knocking. Elizabeth, John and uh, Zechariah and Elizabeth have knocked for 50 years or more. And they got the best. They got John the Baptist. John the Baptist is not, on, it's not an ordinary child. Okay, it's not an ordinary son. He is the forerunner of the Son of God into this world. Hoorah! It's, it's such a such a powerful such a powerful word such a powerful prophetic fulfillment you know everything about christmas is supernatural it's uh it's miraculous a virgin gave birth to a son scientifically impossible go say goodbye to enlightenment <laughs> go say goodbye to uh, postmodernism because those have absolutely no answer for anything that happened at Christmas. They have no answer. And they simply they don't want to talk about it. They just want to leave it out of vocabulary, uh, human discussion, anything that cannot be explained by science and power of reasoning, they take it out. Who are they? The Enlightenment and the postmodernism philosophies. That today, full of it. They are full of it. And guess what? That is the very definition of God, supernatural. Hello. Hallelujah. The very definition of supernatural is a transcendent God. To be transcendent, you have to be supernatural because you are actually outside this world, this atmosphere, this, this realm of human understanding, human way of doing things, human way of asking things, human way of hoping things. You know, we Christians, we live in trans, we live a literally semi earthly life, and uh, the other, the other half is semi transcendent life. The more we get into the transcendent life, the more powerful we will be, the more anointed we will be, the more freedom and liberty we will feel, the more joy, peace, and uh, glory and honor we will feel. Just like. Uh, the Bible says, seek glory and honor and immortality. I think Paul wrote that. So you see, how do you, the more we move, see, so don't live in this world as if you're really in this world only. No, you live in two kingdoms, you and I. If you are a believer, you live in two kingdoms. Seriously, I think that's a great way of putting it because you live in the supernatural and the natural. Philosophy using natural theology trying to explain God. They all collapse left, right, center. There's no ways to explain that. That's why. Not anything. You you try to use natural to explain or understand understand supernatural. Say goodbye to it. Wasting time. The very definition of supernatural is is exceeding something over and above the natural. That's why we have this supernatural, hallelujah. Signs of wonders, miracles, the things that Jesus did. Jesus' three years of ministry on earth is full of signs of wonders, full of miracles. And it is, it is truly quite incredible. Without that, nobody knows a thing what's going on in heaven all right wow this is uh, powerful this is good so i want to believe together with you this christmas god is going to say the lord is with you that's emmanuel that's actually the very definition of god is with you
with this Emmanuel. God with us. Christmas means God with us. Hello. Hallelujah. Everybody. Christmas means God is with us. God is with us. It means God, Emmanuel. Because the, the baby born to, uh, to a uh, baby born through, uh, to the world through Mary the Virgin, uh, the betrothed wife of the engaged, they're just engaged uh, to, to Joseph. That baby, his name is Jesus, and also the other name is Emmanuel. Means God with us. You know why there's God with us? Because last time God was was with us, but not even close to what what Jesus is going to bring that closeness uh, between God and man. Because by that birth, what theological is called incarnation, God became man. Jesus actually brought God and man into one. No, this is close. One. My, as I'm. As you are in me, I'm in the Father, my Father is in me. It's a complete mystery. Jesus say words that beyond our minds understanding. No, he's not just performing signs and wonders powerfully, but he's also saying things supernaturally. Even in theology, how do you even try to unpack, understand that? God, the Father is in me, I'm in him, and you are in me, and I'm in you. It's called union with Christ, spiritually. We all become one. Essentially, that's what it's saying. This is supernatural. This is the Lord is with you. Hallelujah. Okay, so. Oh, great. Greetings, favor when the Lord is with you. So this year, I want to really ask you to challenge you to believe. Ask you to really reach out to God. Say, and believe and take the promise. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with me. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But she was very perplexed at this statement. Was wondering what kind of greeting is this. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in a womb and give birth to a son. Um, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great will be called the son of the most high and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever and his kingdom will have no end but Mary said to the angel how would this be since I'm a virgin the angel answered and said to her the Holy Spirit will come upon you the power of the most high will overshadow you for that reason also, the holy child will be called the Son of God. And behold, even your relative Elizabeth herself has conceived a son in her old age, and she was called infertile. In, it's now in her sixth month, for nothing will be impossible with God. Hallelujah. You hear that? Nothing is impossible with God. God specializes in the supernatural. God specializes in the impossible. Continue to believe in, in God, folks. Put your faith in Christ. He's not going to let you down. Hold on to Him. Walk with Him. All right? For nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, the Lord's bond servant may be done to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. The response of Mary should be our response every time. When God called and God spoke to us, do not ever hesitate, do not ever doubt, and receive it by faith and wait upon the Lord. Two more to come on the Advent unto Christmas. Amen.